Hey guys, Tonic here. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new eviction notice event that is coming to Fallout 76 this summer. In this video we are going to go over the basics of the event, do a full start to finish playthrough, check out some of the rewards, and then at the end I will give a quick review and some final thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into it. This event is going to take place just south of Hunter's Villa on the map, and upon traveling here you are going to notice that this location looks a lot different. Just like the Moonshine Jamboree event, this area has been updated to show that Foundation is expanding its territory. On the ridgeline there is an entirely new camp as well as some Foundation flags. And then down in the crater itself you are going to notice that there is a lot of new debris as well as this huge machine in the middle. Now this big machine in the middle is primarily what the entire event is all about. Basically a few settlers went here and they tried to clear this area of radiation so they built this huge radiation scrubber and then eventually some super mutants attacked and destroyed it flooding the area with radiation so it is your goal to repair this thing, destroy a few meat bags and then defend the area against waves of super mutants so that this area can be cleared for a future camp for foundation. It's pretty straightforward pretty much just repair the machine, destroy these meat bags and defend it. If the machine does get destroyed you can repair it but it will start spewing out a ton of radiation and it's pretty deadly. Also, every single time that I have done this event, I have never been able to get out of danger. I've always been in danger, just always in pure combat, and I'm primarily a stealth commando build, so I kind of had to switch my build around to go for a full health, just commando build that could kind of withstand all the damage that I was going to be taking, so I wasn't really running this with a well-optimized character build. I'm not entirely sure if this is just part of the event that you are always supposed to be detected and always in combat, or if this is a result of the sneak changes that are active right now on the PTS. But regardless, as it stands right now, you are pretty much always going to be in danger, so you can't really utilize a lot of sneak damage bonuses or anything like that, so it's probably best to go into this event with a nice power armor build or just a nice full health character build. But now I am just going to let this event play out so you can get a good glimpse of what this event is going to look like unedited. Now it is pretty long, it's about 10 minutes long, so I am going to put some timestamps down below, so if you want to, you can skip ahead directly to the rewards. But for now, here is a full playthrough of Eviction Notice.
Now the rewards for this event are pretty interesting. I do have a full list here and this comes to us from the data mining discord. So huge shout out to them. I will have a link to their discord down below. But all these rewards are just going to be some legendary weapons with unique skins and there really isn't going to be any plans or camp items or anything like that. So as you can see, we are going to be getting a minigun, a death tambo, a hunting rifle, a combat shotgun, a super sledge, and a black powder pistol. Also, when you complete this, you are going to get some settler reputation. It's not really that much, it's just a little bit more than the random encounter reputation that you will get, but it still is pretty cool that we will be getting some reputation for this. Here are some of the rewards that I got from completing the event. This one right here is the Super Sledge, and as you can see it has 40% faster swing speed, plus 50% damage to super mutants, and plus 1 strength. So honestly not that bad of a roll on here. Then we also did get the Tone Death, and this one is a Suppressor's 40% faster swing speed, plus 1 strength. They all do have these really nice unique skins on there, which I think is also a pretty good touch. Another cool thing about this event is that there is a little bit of background lore about this event scattered around the foundation camp. Going around you will be able to find some dead bodies and just some notes scattered around. And these notes are going to explain how these settlers found this crater and how they were trying to build up a little camp here. Overall, I do really like the event. I think everything that we do is pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy, and you are going to be getting a lot of XP from doing it. So if you do have any lunch boxes or XP boosts, this will be a great time to use them. I feel like it's gonna kind of be in that same category as Radiation Rumble, just a nice place to kind of go and farm some XP. I don't really like the rewards though. I feel like the rewards are pretty weak. It's very similar to the Moonshine Jamboree event where I love the event, but I just did not like the rewards at all. In fact, I think that the Moonshine Jamboree rewards are better than these ones. The legendary 
weapons that we do get, they are tradable, which is pretty cool, but they are not really anything too amazing. They are decent rolls, but you can get much better rolls in the game. So I feel like we need some better rewards there. I kind of would like to see maybe a settler wall flag or maybe some outfits, just a little basic stuff like that I think could really add to the loot pool for this event. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would love to know your thoughts on this. Do you guys like this event? Do you not like it? Are you excited for it? Do you like the rewards? For sure, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinion on it. But for now, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all the channel members. Mizator, Yozevated, Death 93 Dalton Murphy, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Networkgate, Golti, Robert Kennard, Wandering Wastelander, Lanthar, Anaristes, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Icefire, Jay Smith, Arjun Deer, Bowser Double Frang, Ice Cream Manny, Chris Decker, Theodore, Digital Aardvark, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.